to show you guys one of my favorite core routines or um, really show you how you can help build strength and stability within your core muscles here that's really going to help with low back as well as um, just your overall stability with movements um, so a few different things to really keep in mind here right like we talked we want to keep that really really nice beautiful beautiful alignment from our head all the way to our tailbone um, so you're going to notice in the circuit that I'm going to do a lot of different series more specifically with planks so that definitely a few different ways you can modify these so you can utilize a wall right if you're using a wall right we're remembering that really really strong straight line from the tip of our head all the way down to our tailbone and all throughout our legs we want that to be a very nice whatever angle gets you that very very nice uh, straight line there um, doing that up against the wall you can utilize a table a really stable table um, countertop something like that as well that might give you a little bit more of that parallel to the floor um, a nice progression there otherwise you are more than welcome to do these um, in your typical hands on the floor or a forearm plank as well right right on our forearms so really it's a choose your own adventure in that sense or choose which one really meets you where you're at um, I'll demonstrate them from the forearms um, so we're gonna have a lot of fun with this plank circuit here, you guys. Um, so I normally do, I recommend building up to about 45 seconds to a minute in each uh, section, each exercise that we'll go through. But I kind of shorten them down to 20 seconds here. So we're just gonna, for <laughs> purposes here, we're gonna go through 20, um, 20 seconds really in each section. And I'll show you guys a few modifications in each of those. Um, that's really gonna help you out um, here, so. We will go ahead and get started. Uh, so we are actually gonna start in a nice plank position. And you remember, if you're doing our forearms or if you're using a wall, right, we're keeping those, we wanna keep our shoulders back. We don't want these crowding up on our neck here. We also wanna keep that right straight line from the top of our head to our tailbone all the way through our legs as well. We wanna protect our spine. The other thing is, is we wanna keep our core nice and tight right here. We gotta keep that in. Think about when you put on a pair of jeans that are slightly too tight when you go to button those, you kind of got to suck in to get that button done. That is exactly that feeling that we want to have there. So I'm going to start right in our forearm plane. And our first one is we're actually just going to hold this position. Right? And we're keeping that very beautiful long spine throughout here, right? In our head, we're not bringing this down. We're not craning this up. We're not going like this or staying away from this. We don't want to come down here. We want to stay right here. Keep that stable. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this with our legs. We're going to do some movement in our legs here. So, right, we're going to take our right foot down, our right knee down, bring that up. We're going to do that with our left leg bring that back up we're going to alternate on that end the big thing here right we're going slow and controlled and we don't want to tilt our pelvis down we're not doing this we want our pelvis to stay right in that same spot there all right and then we're going to take that a little bit faster now we're going to walk it a little bit faster challenge that alignment right still keeping that beautiful straight spine right not crouching in here keeping that up as well Awesome. All right, now we're going to take this to a very beautiful plank. Hold our plank again. Nice, strong, stable. Right. And then we're going to take that to a side plank. We're going to turn and keep that right arm on the ground. We're going to keep our feet nice and stacked. Keep right here. We're going to put our hand on our hip. And we're going to lift right through here. All right, keeping this alignment still this way. Keeping our arm here option to really bring that foot in front of you if you need that extra stability bring that here you can also keep that straight out in front of you as well here a few options there we'll come back to that very beautiful plane our all-time favorite all right and then we're going to switch over to the opposite side here right left arm is down we're going to put that right arm on our hip 
right? We're lifting through right in here, not through our shoulders, right? We're not doing this. We can have an option, right, to keep this foot right out in front of us. And we're lifting right through here. All right, and we'll bring that right back to our middle here. We're gonna hold for another beautiful few seconds here. All right, and then we're gonna finish coming up to right onto our arms here, right onto our hands, I should say. We're gonna keep those very beautifully here. And we're gonna end with some very fun push-ups. So we're actually going to, you have a few options here. So you have the ability to come down, do one right like this, come back up. But what you're going to do here, right? Otherwise you can do knees. You can also do it right on the wall as well in that option here. But what we are going to do to finish this one out is we're going to do down on one and we're going to bring it up for three counts. So one, two, three, and four. All right, and just lean back into our very beautiful, nice little child pose. Get some nice stretch out there. All right, and I would definitely recommend ending that with those push-ups, doing at least five to 10 on that end there. And that's our nice little circuit. You can kind of play around with it, do it for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, really whatever works for you.